is the perfect RIA In case you didn't know Bringing you all the strategies To help your business grow Are you happy? Are you satisfied? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Sit back and listen in While you feel the beat, yeah Another myth bites the dust Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Follow Up Friday. I am your host of Follow Up Friday, Matthew Jarvis. And in this special Friday episode, we go back and look at the action items that you need to be implementing in order for this podcast, which, you know, I think is pretty awesome and it's a lot of fun. In order for this podcast to be transformative in your practice, not just insightful, but transformative, there are actions that you have to take, right? Actions are what separates the average or mediocre or failure advisor from the truly successful rockstar level advisors. And on Monday, Micah and I talked about this very sort of mentally destructive uh, objection that prospects can bring up or clients can bring up, which is, can I get a discount? Can I get a better deal? Now, there there is some financial implications, of course, of giving a discount, right? It's, It's less money that you're earning, but the psychological impacts are far more devastating. And for two reasons. The first is on the client or prospect side. If the client realizes or prospect realizes that your fees are negotiable, that your advice and recommendations are negotiable, where does that stop? If your fee is negotiable, is your asset allocation negotiable? Is your risk management negotiable? Is your estate planning rules negotiable? Where does this stop? And so from a client standpoint, we say, this is my advice. This is what we're doing. And great news, if that's not a fit for you, there are tens of thousands of other advisors who will give you lousy advice. And you can certainly go and work with with them. The the second person, of course, that's even more destructive to is yourself. All we have as advisors is our, our confidence and our ability to give recommendations to clients. And when we allow people to eat away at this, and I have a whole chapter in my book on this, when we allow people to eat away at this, it's very destructive to our productivity. So Mike and I went through and looked at specifically, what do you say when someone offers a discount? How do you, um, how do you frame that? One of my favorite things that I got from Micah is, of course, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect or Mr. and Mrs. Client fees in the financial services industry range from 0% at, at, a, at a Schwab or Fidelity, uh, though there's some hidden fees, but we won't talk about those, range from 0% to north of 3%. Now, again, for those of you listening, those would be loaded variable annuities. Uh, there is even a hedge funds, 2 and 20, realtors charging 7% of a leveraged asset, attorneys charging 33% or 50% of the settlement amount. But for this discussion, we say Mr. and Mrs. Client, fees in the industry range from 0% to 3%, and the value that you receive is equally across the board. Our fee at Jarvis Financial is 1.5%, and we feel that our value is far above average. But that, Mr. and Mrs. Client, is for you to decide – Because each calendar quarter, you'll see our fee deducted, and you'll see it as a line item, Jarvis Financial Advisory Fee, and you'll look at that number, and I'll look at that number, and we'll both decide if the value you received is worth the fee that we charge. Now, if it is, then we'll continue another calendar quarter. But if ever you look at that number and you think, I don't know if I'm getting my money's worth, we either need to have a heart-to-heart discussion to figure that out, or it's time for us to part ways as friends. Which, if that's the case, I will certainly be sad because I enjoy working with you. However, I'm committed to you working with the advisor that's best suited to your needs, in which case I'll do everything possible I can to facilitate the transfer and we will even refund the last quarter's fee as a gesture of good faith. Now, you, you heard how smoothly that comes out. That's because I've practiced that so many times and I'm so convicted on that that it, it's the same for me if you ask me my name. You know, what's your name? It's Matthew Jarvis. What do you charge? I charge one and a half percent. That comes across with an equal amount of conviction. Now, action items. Action item number one, write out your fees. And I know that they're in your ADV or they're on your website or they're, well, they shouldn't be on your website. That's price out of place kills the deal. But have them written on a sheet of paper, have it laminated, and review this only once a year. You do not need to revisit your fee schedule more than once a year. That's it. Otherwise, you're you're playing off it. So have it written out. If you're having any kind of struggle with this, have it written out, laminated, so that you can present it to prospects. And then action number two is have your scripts ready. Be ready so that you're not caught off guard. So when someone says, hey, is that fee negotiable? This isn't some crazy question, like some crazy algebra equation that your teacher is giving you in high school. You're ready for this. Examples of the script can, of course, be found in my book, Delivering Massive Value. They're also in multiple webinars that are saved inside the Backstage Pass. And and Invictus members, of course, will work with you one-on-one on perfecting those scripts. So action item, as mentioned, 
implement your fee schedule, right? Have it as solid as your name so that when you say, hey, my fee is X, people say, oh, great. That totally makes sense. And until next time, happy planning. Hold on before we go. Something that you need to know. This isn't tax, legal, or investment advice. That isn't our intent. Information designed to change lives. Financial planning can make you thrive. Start today, don't think twice. Be a better husband, father, mother, and wife. The perfect RIA, the perfect.